Welcome, Guitaraholics. Good to see you back so soon. Um, this is just a continuation of the last video, which is Fundamentals 1.5. I guess this will be one and three quarters because it's really just explaining what I missed out on in the last video. Surely you should call that 33 and a third. Don't call me Shirley. How about that? I squeezed in two Liam Neeson jokes and probably three quarters of the people that watch this video are going to be too young to get it. But that's okay. As long as you're here to learn guitar, we're okay. I went back and watched the Fundamentals 1.5 and realized that I was having so much fun playing that little Telecaster that I never got around to the point. So what I'd like to do with this is just a very quick um, run through. So what I'd like to do is have you look at the A minor pentatonic that we were discussing in the last video. Imagine every one of those notes linked together with a chain, and someone walked by and just poof, knocked them all down. Those notes would just kind of scatter across the fretboard, and this turns into this. Okay. What we're doing here is basically figuring out every major and minor chord in the key of A minor with just this one pattern. So, of course, you move that around and figure out these chords in, well, any key. So starting off with a A minor, we're going to do A to C. That gives us A minor. There's your dyad. And then we're going to go from C to E, which gives your major. So again, this is all Major minor dyads, A minor, C major, E to G, there's your E minor, then we're going up to B, there's your major, up to D, there's your minor, and this is where the pattern does change, you'll remember, D major would follow the pattern, but since we are following A minor, Instead of this F sharp to give you D major, we're doing F. So there's your D minor. So that's the first two minors in a row. And then with that F, we're going to add A, which is back to our root. And that gives you your F major. And because we're on a sixth string, we've got another string, go to C. You're back to A minor. B minor, C major, if you want to do that. So that uh, is one way to just kind of walk through and say, okay, in F sharp minor, I'm going to figure out all of my, all of my majors and minors, just like that. Okay, that was really, that was really it. I just wanted to kind of put a pretty bow on this uh this last video since i did get carried away and kind of lost the point can't help it i'm a guitaraholic as you can see <laughs> Well, guitarholics, have a good evening. Enjoy. I hope that uh, this actually helped explain what I was trying to do in the last video, and um, I hope that it helps you on your musical journey.
It's a little taste of music theory without getting all theory-y about it. All right. Have a good night. This is Wes signing out.